and I'm home. Hmm. Let's see what he on. Let's see what he on. problems right out of the gate we're gonna get a delay he didn't seem in a rush I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there right no up tempo at all clock just ran out I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was about five first and 15. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He'll find his man, that's Freddie Swain. The 30, past the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Wow. Swain, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, 
You want something to kickstart your drive. This shit, this shit. Nice start. That's a good ass throw, Dak. For the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message Dak. to the opposing team. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. They're on the 27-yard line. First down, Tannehill. And a big one wow. here as he's taken down. Khalil Mack in there for sag number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And it brings up third down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. What a start defensively. I mean, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7 zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because earlier in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A two-yard touchdown round. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Not even two minutes into this football game, already we've had two scores. You know how much I like to read about teams of old, right? The, the teams of yesteryear. There were some teams that were known as the point-of-minute teams. Well, obviously in a 60-minute game, that's 60-plus points. But two touchdowns in the first two minutes? My calculator doesn't operate that well. And now on the other side, they better wake up. They haven't even gotten off the bus yet. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. At their own 24 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 0 already as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get that ball to Auden Tate. And now it's second down. Second and 10 at the 24-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. Oh, it is the punt team now as this one set away. Here's Jackson to return. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. timeout call. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Check 49, check 49, check 49. 
Prescott off play action. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. It had been a near perfect beginning to this football game. Already a double digit lead first quarter, but their first misstep. And you know how it is, partner. Sometimes when everything's going right, you start to feel like you can do just about anything you want on the field. This one didn't work out. If I were him, I'd go to my defensive captain and say, pick me up, my man. Help me out. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. From the 21, it's second and 10. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked up by Corn Elder. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Okay, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. Bear in mind they had two interceptions last week, but that was in four quarters. They've got two here in the first quarter alone. And the unsung people in this street, the pass rushers, because most of the time, they're the ones that affect things in the pocket for a quarterback trying to throw the football, rushing them, getting them off their spot, harassing them, and that allows the defensive backs, the linebackers to swoop in and make the picks downfield. And they're swooping. Brings up the ball. On second down and four. Tannehill. His pass caught at the four. To number that play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Oh, shit. And again, this time to the tailback. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal the five-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Tannehill down a throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Good throw, bitch. Good throw, bitch. Slants. Everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. But conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light day. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over oh, at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, Things change. Now we got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. He's checked Thompson on the tackle that time. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. 
Or he can come right back and continue to run the football because he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Number 81. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. This nigga then came back. Came back. Taking about seven yards deep. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return at the 14 yard line. A conventional football. Football one one tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches with a pro bowl head coach. They give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out, try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards to the first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's another first down as this time they get it even 20. Prescott on first down. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. These two teams all tied after one. Second down, Prescott, and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 24-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Give me a coat. He sees it. Like he wants a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up and down the field game here. I'll take him. Where's where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. On second and nine. Tannehill. The attempt on the dive and he has it. What a catch. That boy scared out of his mind. There, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage and now third. No, no, hell no. Bengals on third down. Why do you find with my motion? This is third and eleven. Tannehill. And Ooh. he gets this one just shot. Thank you. 40 to mark him down at the 39. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten at the 39-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Tannehill flushed out right. He's going to let one foot, and it's caught inside the 30. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Now a handoff looking right. And he'll get Be it careful. this time to the 17. Okay. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And this is caught in the eight. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They'll roll him out right. And he'll take this into the Nigga, end zone. what? That was my TV. fucking name. Three yards out. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up. And we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. And fun to watch. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27 yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense, these defense. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 22. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Their own 22-yard line. After the interception, here's Tannehill. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. A successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this will be incomplete. <coughs> Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect, but as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. He'll buy some time right. That nigga is Quinton fast as hell. Sullivan, he what? The okay. The field across the 45 before going out. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Throwing again is Tannehill. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Cincinnati. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Oh, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. That is down. Four touchdown passes for Ryan Tannehill. And the Bengals have broken our tie as they take the lead. 
And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. This one fielded at the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. At their own 32-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. Okay, yeah. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. <coughs> Let's see how this court about to play out. Forecast calling for the same is set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And it hit it hard, out of it Because the defense is right now. They seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They want a loved one there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 20-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And it is... Third and short yardage, Prescott. And a big 
little loss here as he's taken down. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progression to find someone to run the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. No way to go with the football. That led to the sack. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right, it's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better than... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Complete three yards of the game there, second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here we go. Hey, kill, Off the play fake, Prescott. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Carl Lawson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brings up third down. Third and long for Prescott. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin quarter. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 20. 10. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. First and A big play there for Best Cincinnati. Game. 91 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's a goal. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line, second and goal. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Short of the goal line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This drive started way back inside their own five. Now they're looking for the capper. Third and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. But he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Seibert's kick is good. But hold everything here. They might have hit the kicker. And if they did, that'll be a first down. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
Take it in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. I'm at the full A. First and ten, Prescott taking a shot for Samuel, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. And my goodness, another interception. He's picked off at his own 47. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Boston Simon. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for a touchdown. The door closed, locked, reinforced. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. This will be fielded inside the five. And he returns this to the 22. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And again, this time the tailback. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. I just want to get back on one thing. Eagles on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. He's taken down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 83 yards. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Right over your you can understand situation of football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you. Rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Take over first and ten. 
their own 16-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked. Go to something else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And a short pick up here as he'll get up to about the 22-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. And it's third down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's into the clear. 30, past the 20. You can like this. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. Thank God. God damn. 